I've always been very excited about the future of probiotics and I've always viewed probiotics as simply drugs that exert an effect on the microbiome. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is take a look at a testosterone boosting probiotic strain that does appear to have some favorable evidence to suggest that it may assist with boosting testosterone levels in men. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, the founder of Boost Your Biology. If you've been enjoying these videos, then please like the video and hit subscribe down below to stay up to date with the latest and greatest health research. So the future of probiotics has always been an area of interest for me and that is because I've learned about the major benefits associated with various probiotics and one such category is actually the category of psychobiotics. Now, psychobiotics, I definitely think are going to be the future of medicine. We're gonna see probiotic strains that are specifically designed to combat things like anhedonia, social anxiety, lack of confidence, and things of that nature. So I'm very excited to see the future of probiotics and especially psychobiotics. Now, we need to remember that probiotics do act like drugs. They can upregulate, downregulate various enzymes. They can manipulate our neurotransmitters. They can work on specific hormones in the body such as GLP-1. They can affect cortisol. They can affect estrogen. They can affect melatonin. So what I really wanna do is present to you a probiotic strain that does have some pretty impressive research to indicate that it can increase testosterone levels in men. And that is Lactobacillus paracas I, B21060. This particular strain does appear to have some impressive research. So this study was titled, The Association of a Probiotic with a Prebiotic Flortec Braco to Improve the Quality Quantity of Spermatozoa in Infertile Patients with Idiopathic Oligoastheno steroospermia, a pilot study. So this study here actually suggested that the consumption of this particular probiotic does appear to have a favorable effect on both sperm parameters and also testosterone production. So the hypothesis that the assumption of a probiotic associated with a prebiotic, which is Lactobacillus paracasii B21060 um, and Aribinogalactin, 1243 milligrams and oligofructosaccharides at 700 milligrams plus L-glutamine 500 milligrams could improve the quality and quantity of spermatozoa in idiopathic oligoastheno-sterotospermia. So there were actually 41 patients in this particular clinical trial. 20 received the Flortec, and which was basically one sachet per day for six months, whereas 21 received the control substance. And so the research was pretty impressive. In fact, group one, which is the Flortec or the probiotic group, had their sperm count improved, the volume of the ejaculate improved, the sperm concentration, the progressive motility, and a reduction in the percentage of um, abnormal sperm. In addition, their follicle-stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, and testosterone levels improved, while those of the uh, the estradiol and the prolactin did not. Now, group two, which was the control substance, had no modification in 42 of the parameters studied. Guys, listen up. I'm sure you're aware of the importance of personalization when it comes to optimizing your health. That is why I'm offering a free 15-minute boost your biology strategy session with a senior member of my team where we'll chart out a personalized plan for success so that you stop guessing when it comes to different supplements, diets, training, and lifestyle strategies. So be sure to check that link out in the video description down below. So let's have a look at the breakdown here. We can see before administration, after administration. So that was 20, uh, 20 participants receiving the Flortec, which was the Lactobacillus paracasi, versus the control substance, which was essentially just elementary starch. And let's go down the list here. Sperm concentration before administration was 15.2. After administration was 28.3. That was a huge increase in sperm concentration. Looking at the progressive of motile sperm, at the beginning was around 16.2. 
and that increased all the way up to 42%. Again, a massive increase. The typical forms starting at seven, that increased to 16.3, more than double. Uh, The volume of the ejaculate, that went from 2.4 mils all the way up to 3.1 mil. So that basically means that it's increasing the total ejaculate volume. The number of ejaculated sperm that doubled, well, more than doubled, it went from 37 all the way up to 90. The FSH started at 5.1, that went up to 7.6. The luteinizing hormone started from 4.4, that went up to 5.7. The total testosterone started at 25.3, which is a relatively large average to begin with. But that boosted it up to 30, which is you know, a significant increase in total testosterone. The prolactin saw a decrease, which is generally a good thing, went from 8.3 down to 7.7. And then the estradiol uh, started at 16.3 and actually increased to 17.4, which is typical and what we would see with something that raises total testosterone. Um, So we can see that that's pretty impressive research for a particular probiotic strain. And so what I really want to emphasize here is that in the past, I used to recommend lactobacillus ruteri, um, which this study here indicates also has a favorable effect on testosterone levels. You can see the study was titled Probiotic Microbes Sustain Youthful Serum Testosterone Levels and testicular size in aging mice. And so in that particular study, the authors said, while conducting diet studies involving probiotic microbe lactobacillus ruteri, we discovered that aging male animals had larger testes compared to their age match controls. So this led us to hypothesize that dietary lactobacillus ruteri supplementation may act to prevent age and diet related testicular atrophy in mice. Knowing that age-related hypergonadism has been linked with functional alterations of Leydig cells and low testosterone levels that reduce reproductive fitness and quality of life, we examined testes of probiotic microbe-fed mice and found that they had less testicular atrophy coinciding with higher levels of circulating testosterone compared to their aged match controls. Similar testicular health benefits were produced using systemic depletion. So both Lactobacillus paracasii and Lactobacillus ruteri do appear to be the prominent strains that are associated with higher levels of testosterone. And the Lactobacillus ruteri strain in particular is something that I utilized for two years straight to maximize my testosterone production naturally. And also a number of other men online have reported that their testes actually appear larger following the use of lactobacillus ruteri. So we can see this is pretty exciting research. And as always, if you do want more testosterone boosting hacks, then do be sure to check out my Limitless course that's linked down below in the video description that goes through a range of other strategies to boost testosterone as high as possible naturally. So if you found this research relatively interesting, please do like the video, drop a comment down below to support the algorithm. Otherwise, guys, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.